Hi there, welcome to this week at Ask Total Health. I'm Craig Alley and I'm going to go over five tips today to, to help you avoid burnout at the end of the day. Now, burnout and fatigue can come from so many bigger issues and so many longer term issues as well, but it can also come just at the end of the day because you're not managing your physical and mental energy well and you just let yourself kind of fizzle out by the end of the day because maybe you're running on empty. You're just not becoming aware of when you have those dips. There's lots of different things um, you can do to help manage it. Now, if you're uh, using these five tips on a regular basis, but you still feel exhausted at the end of the day or completely worn out in, in general, then there's a lot of other factors. You know, it could be kind of uh, bigger lifestyle factors, family pressures, um, kind of high workload, all these different things that you may have to look at, emotional pressure, emotional stress all these different things you may have to then kind of look at. But again, let's just try and solve a few issues here um, and, and help you still, help you be slightly more energized by the end of the day. Now, if you work hard, it's most likely you are going to be tired, but there's the difference between tired and completely worn out and can't function at the end of the day. So the first thing is if we want to um, have more energy stores throughout the day and have more reserve at the end of the day, we want to start the day well, you know, don't just jump up in a mad rush, um, have throw coffee and sugar and, and, and kick yourself into that kind of um, high energy part of the day because that's, yeah, it may get you going, but it's not going to last you very well um, and it's going to create big major energy crashes as well. So really important, start the day well, energize yourself at the start of the day. Now, if you just have that intention of energizing yourself, most likely you will just see you, you'll find the correct things to do you know you'll drink water you'll keep yourself well hydrated you'll eat good foods you'll try and fit in some exercise some movement you know you may just decide to walk to work or walk part of it um, or you'll do some mobility exercises some flexibility whatever it is just energize yourself at the start of the day that's going to get all the correct systems in the body engaged and switched on it's going to make your brain more alert as well you're probably going to make better choices throughout the day if you energize yourself well. Now, even if you do that, there's probably going to be points throughout the day where you start to have energy dips. Now, one of the ways to kind of understand when your energy dips come is to take a, a food diary and an energy diary for a few days and you'll probably see patterns. And then just kind of know when those energy dips are about to happen and try and uh, prevent them from crashing is, is low so it may be a case of getting up and moving around hydrating yourself getting a good quality snack in just to help sustain your energy a little bit more so just be aware of the energy energy dips coming rather than suddenly realizing that you've had a major blood sugar crash or a major energy crash and you have to pull yourself out of it because that takes us on to the next point the third point that's when you probably use stimulants coffee yeah, any kind of caffeine, sugar, really high fat processed foods to give us that lift. So it's really important uh, if you want to avoid using stimulants that you are preventing the energy dips from happening because it's very difficult to avoid coffee and sugar especially when you're really low in energy and you've had a big crash. So again, manage your energy dips and try not to use stimulants for energy. Use stimulants for a little boost, you know, have, have a little coffee or have a wee bit of sugar if that's what you really, really enjoy and like, just for a nice little kind of uplift and pick me up and to make you feel good. But don't use it as your energy source. Get good quality foods in you, keep yourself well hydrated and use that as your energy source. Then if you like a cappuccino or, a, you know, a, a little you know, piece of chocolate, whatever, throughout your day and, and that's what you allow yourself to have, then that's great. Throw that on top of a good source of fuel, but don't use these stimulants for your energy. The fourth point I'm just going to touch on because we did recently put a video out about it, uh, is manage your stress. Yeah? Stress, uh, stress will, you know, if you're highly stressed, physically, mentally, or emotionally, it's going to be burning out your stress hormones and by the end of the day that is why we have that energy crash. Uh, probably why a lot of people who are sedentary and not active throughout the day can still feel physically worn out. It's because the stress levels, it burns out all your stress hormones and all your emergency energy stores. So manage your stress. If you're unsure how to do that, go back to a managed stress video that we put out a couple of weeks back. And at the end of the day, really, really important, our fifth point you wind down. 
you find some way of switching off and making a transition from your work life to your home life and you don't just carry that pressure all the way um, into your home life. Again, even if it's positive pressure, positive stress you're going through um, at work, it's still gonna it's still gonna burn you out if you keep on burn, running on that all day. So it's really important that you find something that helps you wind down and relax. Ideally, something natural, something that's very good for your health. So you don't just uh, you say a glass of wine or beer or whatever, or just you know zonk it in front of the TV. Try and use a little bit of movement. Try and kind of maybe cook a nice meal, engage in kind of eating the meal. Um, you know, then if you have a wee glass of wine on top of it, once you've kind of all wound down again, if you choose to do that, that's fine. But don't use, don't use false uh, stimulants once again to help wind you down because they're only going to burn you out. But find a way of mentally and physically switching off from your day, and that is going to help you recover, sleep better, and it's just going to take all the pressure off mentally and emotionally as well. It's going to give you, you know, a, a little bit of energy back just from that stops you from worrying about things and over analyzing again as well so really important you add that in to go over the five tips we start the day well we energize ourselves at the start of the day we monitor our energy dips and our, our flow of energy and we try and prevent them from happening we try not to use stimulants for energy we just use them for a, a nice little pick me up and to, for a little bit of enjoyment we manage our stress, very, very important. We manage our stress throughout the day and we manage our stress at, um, in the bigger picture uh, in the rest of our life as well. And we find some way to wind down at the end of the day, ideally natural, like I say, but you find a way of switching off from your work life into your home life. Add those five points in, it may not solve all of your problems, but it's gonna really help manage your energy and stop you from uh, burning out and building up any kind of fatigue. So again, any questions uh, relating to this or any other health questions, please email us info at totalhealth.uk.com.